Good morning. My name is Linda. And you are? Hi, Dottie. Um, you're interested in VI services? What do you know about mass rehab? Okay. Have you been to mass rehab previously or is this your first time? Okay. So, you know that Mass Rehab is the state agency that works with people with disabilities. So I, so deafness is your primary disability. Do you think you may have any other disabilities? Okay, good. Um, so I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions today. Okay. Um, first question is, uh, you live in what town? Okay. Do you live on your own? Do you live with family, friends? Okay. And how do you support yourself? Are you working now? Ah, okay. <clears throat> do you know how much you get in each check? Nine hundred dollars. Okay. Hmm. That seems like a lot of money for someone on both benefit programs. So we may talk about that later on. Okay. Um, can you tell me a little bit about your education? Did you graduate from high school? Okay. What about any other trainings that you may have had? So no other courses, uh, not a college class or a training program? All right. Well, what about your work history? Did you like that type of work? Okay. How long did you work there for? And why did you leave? Okay. What kind of work do you think you may like to do? Ah, okay. Do you have any experience doing that? Okay. Do you bake at home? No. Okay. 
So I'm trying to get a sense of why you chose working in a bakery. Okay. Um, hmm. Do you know anybody that works at a bakery now or owns a bakery? Okay. I'm just thinking that maybe sometime in the future we may want you to go visit a bakery and maybe go in the back and see what a baker actually does. Yeah. Usually when you watch someone do a job, you get a better idea if that's something that you may like to do. Okay. One of the other things that Mass Rehab may help you with is some kind of a training towards becoming a baker. Okay, so we may look at some schools or some training programs that could help you learn how to bake. Before we do that though, we may want to get a better idea of what kind of skills that you already have. Okay, and we may also want to look at some other interests that you might have. There's some interest testing, or there's some skills assessments that we may do. And okay. once you complete those, we may get some different answers. You may find that there are other interests or jobs that you might want to look into. Okay, and that's something we'll look at into the future. Okay, because I don't know if you know, but Mass Rehab has a three-month waiting list right now. Yeah, so even though I can do the intake right now and get some general information, it'll be about three months before we can actually work together to start building towards a plan. Okay, but, and this is helping me today just to get some information about what you do like and what you don't like. Okay, and one of the things that you already know is that you want to look at working in a bakery. So you may want to look into that a little bit more during the next three months. Visit a bakery. Maybe experiment at home. Cakes, cupcakes. Mm 
Okay? All right. So now I'm going to ask you a little bit more about your medical background. You stated you were deaf. How did you become deaf? Okay. And you have a recent audiolog I can't say that word. You have a recent audiological exam. Okay, good, because Mass Rehab likes to have medical documentation. Okay, and I'm probably going to see if you can get some medical information from your primary care doctor, just to let me know if you're healthy. Okay, any hospitalizations? Okay, and what about any other agencies? I, do you have any involvement with any other state agencies? All right, any other programs? An independent living center? Okay, what about a court record? Do you have a, been arrested? Good, good. All right, and other than the SSI and the SSDI, you have no other income? Okay, what about health insurance? No health insurance? Hmm. How long have you been on the um, SSDI? Hmm. Well, most people that have SSDI also have Medicare, which is a health insurance. Okay, and if you're on SSI, it's automatic that you have Mass Health, which is another health insurance. Yeah, we should find out. Um, that's very important to have health insurance these days. We will find out about that. Um, food stamps? No, no food stamps. Okay, and you live with your parents. Apartment, is it a house? Okay, and they own that house? Okay. All right, well, I think I've gathered information for right now. Um, you must have some questions. Okay, so I'm gonna have you sign some forms, but before I do that, what are you gonna do for the next three months? <laughs> good, good. You can do it a couple of ways, too. You could go buy a box of Betty Crocker in the grocery store.
or you could do what all the bakers do as they start from scratch. Yes, so you're going to go get some flour and some sugar and salt. All that mixing, that'll, that'll, if you try that, you may get a much better idea if you're going to like bacon. Yes, it's, it's a good thing to try out. I'm going to give you some forms to sign. And it's, they're basically going to say, I am applying for Mass Rehab Services. Yep. Okay. All the information that we talked about here is confidential, so we don't want you to worry about that. Okay. So when I see you in a few months, you're going to be able to tell me that you did some cooking and you actually enjoyed the bacon process. All righty. Thank you very much for coming in today.